Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, but before we get into our lesson plan number three, I'd like to talk to you a little bit, a little recap here about what happened for lesson plan number two. Uh, we should have been writing for 10 minutes every day this past week. Hope you've been doing that. Uh, not holding back. You didn't have to keep the material, or uh, if you wanted to, that was cool too. And combining both lesson plans number one, which is about the metaphor and the, using the five senses, and of course the past lesson plan uh, number two, where we write every day for 10 minutes. All right, so lesson plan number three. Really, quite simple. The letter poem. The letter poem is a great, great way for you to personify different objects or governments or religions or groups of people. You can do really anything and uh, personify those objects and then write a letter to them or about them and just get out a lot of stuff that you're feeling about that particular topic. I'd like to give you right now a performance piece that I've created and it is dedicated to America. Dear America, whatever happened to Woody Guthrie? Tom Waits sounds much better when I mix him with rain and aspirations, stirring Marley and Coltrane and some nervous little twitches that coincide with poetically correct blind rage moments when I can't understand anything, especially poetry. I am begging for a moment of compassion for my concoction of martyrs that tear the tapestry of time and wrap myself in their tear-stained cloth of now. I am bleeding for Las Vegas, for the girls drinking highballs of single malt scotch waiting for me at the winning table, for the Mexicans and Vietnamese handing out invitations to that girl, that table, for the next believer. We are forsaken by not just one God, but all the gods, even the committee of fallen angels, broke their lease and walk amongst the dead and discuss stock picks while watching the evolution of bottom feeders find a parking space. Ah, yes, America, capitalism, alive and well in the fumigated, opaque dreams of brothers and sisters I too forgot I knew. America, capitalism, you drink bottled blood aged and refined through steel and glass, then pump it back through a vile past, and we are the memories of your future, America, my home. Feed me your definition of God, and go ahead and put me down for another box of cookies, because supermodels stand for our dreams, as all-you-can-eat bars stand for our lack of taste. Parental guidance stickers mean nothing to an indigo child, because their flowers will balance your dream with a thorn. So prick yourself, America. Capitalism, you paddle pawns in Pavlov's pinball game, Humpty Dumpty's in love with the fall, ambivalence is your mantra, running your errands for forgotten youth while bureaucratic backdoor men keep in touch with your absence. Apathy is the main ingredient in the ink of the one dollar ticket, raffling our souls. Patriotism is the item of the week. Oblivious to specious lies. So turn the other cheek. America, capitalism, kill another Billie Holiday, another Allen Ginsberg, one more Miles Davis, Coltrane, Bukowski for good measure. Remember to light that Technicolor campfire early and burn the synopsis of our creative process because we will not rise up, we will not oppose, we will do as we are sold, with our toys we will die. And oh, the revolution may not be televised, but at least it will be on TiVo. At least you can skip the commercials of the last king strangling the last priest, of course, in super slow-mo. So belly up boys, we got a job to do. America, I love you. I love you, I waste you, embrace you and deface you. Live your dreams of picket fence freedoms because I'll run your gauntlet and chase you into that vision we once had before the music ended. And I closed my eyes to remember you. Sincerely, a friend. Oh, thank you. No, 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 please. Thank you very, very much. No, this is, okay, stop. All right, so that is an example of a letter poem. What I did is I per personified America and capitalism and kind of my feelings at the time about it. All right, so real easy. And then I kind of I twisted in, uh, you know, the character of the homeless guy. You know, he's standing out on the street corner and he's, you know, asking for change and everything. And he starts, you know, spitting this poem about America. And uh, it's a letter written to America, obviously. So 
that is what you can do with this piece. I want you to think about, before we really jump into it, think about who this piece could be to. Maybe it could be to the school, or maybe it could be to a, um, a particular religion, or maybe it could be to the clock, or a chair, or anything. It doesn't matter. What is important is that you're crafting this piece around a personified object, all right? And that's what helps make this poem a narrative poem. Oh, and just so we're clear about personification, so you guys, I hope that you all know that, but we're taking a particular object and we're making it living, breathing thing. So we're making it into a person that we can address and maybe they understand us or they don't, it doesn't matter, but we're bringing that particular object to life and drawing it into our world. That's what's important about personification. Okay, everyone, so if you need some ideas, here's a few that I've jotted down here for you. Um, one, the government. Two, the you know, religion, school. Uh, and if it gets a little bit too challenging for you, let's go with a real person, like a parent or a friend or a friend's parent or a parent's friend, whatever. Uh, the important part is, is that you're making these things as if they were real people. You're addressing them as if a, the government in general is one real person person. And guess what? You can also uh, make these pieces uplifting and, um, you know, in favor of the government or in favor of a particular religion or a school. Um, that's what's important here. It doesn't have to be negative. Uh, you know, it could be very positive as well. The important part is, is that you're personifying the object and bringing it to life with your letter poem. Okay, everyone. Here we go. We're going to take 10 minutes right now. Teachers, if you wouldn't mind pausing the video, and we're going to write. We're going to get all of this out and do it in a letter form. Dear such and such, sincerely such and such. Use the first two lesson plans that we started off with, and now you can really craft a very sincere and open piece. Let's take a moment now and edit our poem, our letter poem that we created earlier. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to erase, go back and just erase the articles, both indefinite and definite articles that we have there in the poem. So take out an and take out a and take out the and play around with it, move them around and see what you come up with. All right, teachers, let's take three minutes right now and let's pause this video. And we'll go ahead and do our little editing process again. You can uh, remove the articles, the indefinite and definite articles as you wish. Let's have fun with it. Take three minutes and pause right now. All right, everyone. Lesson plan number three is finished. And then teachers, if you have any students that are eager to share their letter poems right now, bring them up to the front when I'm finished with this piece and let them share with the rest of their students Enjoy, guys. Have fun, and we'll see you next week.